I uh, just listening, just driving, and uh, listening to some uh, different uh, YouTube pages and stuff, and there's a lot of talk about Virginia and uh, how everything keeps ramping up and ramping up and ramping up. Um, something that dawned on me and uh, it's just a random thought you know people I knew years ago and uh, but it, it you know, may or may not be relevant relevant um, years ago I'm doing slum rehab in Newark New Jersey and I meet this family fixed up their house and uh, I'm not gonna say their name the husband and wife, they're originally from uh, Palm Beach, Florida. And their ancestry was uh, freed slaves. And some slaves, believe it or not, stayed on the plantations because they actually really cared for the owners. And some, not so much. Uh, a group of freed slaves made it to the coast of Florida, and it was kind of a you know, reasonable chunk of land uh, just off the coast, you know, kind of a natural causeway to it. So they kind of set it up and became a, uh, you know, a freed slave town. And they kind of grew and prospered and, you know, farmed and uh, did their thing. Um, and as time went on, the, the community grew onto the mainland you know, all the good land was basically taken by the time the railroads went through in, uh, you know, the turn of the century, early, you know, 1910s, whatever. Uh, by the 20s, the coast of Florida started kind of building up a little bit. Uh, people started realizing it's an easy commute by train. And, um... World War II kind of came and went, and in the late 40s, some developers wanted to buy out the, the black settlement, and uh, they didn't want to sell, because this was kind of their ancestral grounds, you know, didn't go that far back, but this was, you know, sacred land to them, um, especially the island. So, uh, long story short, Things started getting ugly, and you know, people started getting beat up on both sides. The uh, you know it turned into kind of a black-white issue, and things started catching on fire. And then they elected a new mayor, and he was all about let's get back together the way things used to be. It could be great. So he works towards a goal of. United, uniting everything and making it all pretty and, you know, lovey-dovey again. And, uh, things settled down. So then one day they call for a big community day fair type thing. And everybody's supposed to go. And everybody's supposed to have a good time together. And that way everybody will put all their bygones behind and they'll move forward and it'll be great again. So the, uh, this couple, you know, young couple, no kids or nothing, just married. They go out to it, and everybody else in the community goes out to it. And there's there's trains, there's buses, and trucks, and cars, and everybody's working to get everybody together. So they go way the hell out to the edge of nowhere, where this whole thing's set up. And they got the, you know, three-legged races and the apple eating contests and you know whatever big big you know shindig everybody has a good time late afternoon everybody starts going home but the black community had been burnt to the ground and uh that's now palm beach you know the town of palm beach was the original slave settlement and uh not too many poor black people living on uh in Palm Beach anymore, unless you go to West Palm or, you know, the outskirts. But the, uh, but what stuck in my mind was 
how these people were all lured to one place where something awful happened when they weren't home. And uh, I'm not in Virginia. I gotta give a call to a couple friends and find out what their take is on it. Um, I'm heading down there on the 20th. But um, if I was a loudmouth patriot type like I am, and uh, I lived in Virginia, and for the longest time I didn't really care who knew how I felt about things, I'd be a little concerned about what's going to be at my house when I get home. Um, because if I was, if this took place in Pennsylvania, they could pretty much guess that I'm going to be wherever instead of home. And it'd be easy pickings to come kick in the door, shoot the dog, and uh, you know, grab whatever the hell they want to grab. But anyway, um, maybe it would happen, maybe it wouldn't. Just something to be uh, keep in the back of your head because this is not something that has not happened before. Um, I mean, it, you gotta dig deep in the history books to find uh, the history of Palm Beach. But when the uh, railroad went down to Key West, uh, it went to Key West because to steal, uh, Key West became a harbor to try to compete with Havana because they're both deep water ports and most of Florida does not have the, most of the lower states don't have the big deep harbors that they needed for ships. So the uh, railroad went through, the railroad went through, people, you know, it opened up the east coast of Florida and um, it didn't matter who was there, they were, they're going one way or another. They got to burn them out at a community picnic or whether they left peaceably. But the people that got displaced, like the people that I knew, um, they're handed 50 bucks and a train ticket north. And that's how they left Florida. So anyway, just something that random thought that popped into my head. Y'all take care.